In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today it is Thursday, the ninth day of November, and today we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. And today we pray for stress. Dear Lord, we have so many things we are worried about, bombarding our brains. We are so tired from worrying about all these things. We are not going to hold them anymore. We cast them on to you. Knowing you are fully capable of catching them, you carefully hold us. Our loved ones, our dreams, and anything else we take care of and love in your hands. You are infinitely wise, resourceful, powerful, and loving. You can take care of us and everything we care about. Thank you, Lord. Grant this through Christ our Lord. In the Amen. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friend, I'm sure you're well. We are on Thursday, the ninth day of November. We continue to pray for our candidates, and as I promised today in the morning, our sons and daughters will be sitting for Kiswahili Luka. In the afternoon, Kiswahili Insha. Leo ni siku ya Kiswahili. <laughs> so if your son and your daughter has always been drinking and eating sheng, sasa hii siku inaeza mraba. So we pray, we pray, we pray for Kiswahili Luka and Insha. I know we have talked about specific prayers. So our sons and daughters, may God make it to, for you. Uh, if your son is struggling with Kiswahili, please pray for him. If your daughter is struggling with, with Kiswahili, please pray for him. Pray for her. Pray for your daughter. Pray for your son. Pray for them. Specifically. Today we celebrate the dedication of the Rathran Basilica. We'll be reading from John chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. Allow me to give you the historical context of today's celebration. Today, as I have said, the church celebrates the anniversary of the dedication of the Cathedral Church of Rome by Pope Sylvester I. This is between 314 335 A.D. In A.D. 324, the church serves as the episcopal seat of the Pope as the Bishop of Rome and hence is called the mother and head of all churches of Rome and the world. The basilica and the baptistry were built originally by Emperor Constantine and called Basilica Constantinia. Basilica Constantinia. Later, it was renamed the Ark Basilica of the Most Holy Savior. However, it is now called St. John's Lateran Basilica because it was built on property donated to the church by the Laterani family and because the monks from the monastery of St. John the Baptist and St. John the Divine served it. The name St. John comes first from the baptistry, rebuilt after its hard treatment by the Vigots in the year 410, by Pope St. Sixtus II, who was there between the years 432 and 440, and dedicated by him to St. John the Baptist. Later, Pope St. Hilary, who was there between the years 461 to 468, dedicated it to St. John the Evangelist in thanksgiving to that apostle for saving his life. Now you know. 
Today's gospel gives us the dramatic account of Jesus' cleansing of the temple in Jerusalem. He drove out eight merchants and money changers with moral indignation at the unjust commercialization of God's house of prayer and the exploitation of the poor pilgrims in the name of religion. The merchants charged exorbitant prices for animals, for sacrifices, and the money changers charged unjust commissions for the required exchange of pagan coins for temple coins. Jesus cleansed the temple in Jerusalem. Originally built by Solomon in the year 966 BC and rebuilt by Zerubbabel in the year 515 BC after the Babylonians had destroyed it. The temple was still being renovated for the last time finishing the work began in the year 20 BC by King Herod the Great. The abuses which infuriated Jesus were, number one, the conversion of a place of prayer to a noisy marketplace, and number two, the unjust business practices of animal merchants and money changers and encouraged by the temple authorities. Hence, Jesus made a whip of cords and drove away the animals and the money changers, quoting Zechariah the prophet. So, today, we need to avoid the business mentality of profit and loss in divine worship. Our relationship with God must be that of a child to his parent, one of love, respect, and desire for common good with no thought of gain or loss. Two, we need to remember that we are the temples of the Holy Spirit. Hence, we have no right to desecrate God's temple by impurity, injustice, pride, hatred, or jealousy. We need to love our parish church and use it. Our church is the place where we come together as a community to praise and worship God and thank him for his blessings, to ask pardon and forgiveness for our sins and to offer our lives and petitions on the altar. Let us make our church an even more holy place by adding our prayers and songs to community worship and by offering our time, our talents, and treasure in the various ministries of our parish. Did you hear that last part? Thank you, and God bless you.